hi guys i welcome you all back to my channel my name is aisha in today's video i'll be showing you how to cut and sew this pleated v-neck booboo i'll be showing you the full details on how to cut it and how to sew it thank you all for your support god bless you all if you are new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned to the end of the tutorial. This is the material I will be using. I have my class mercury that I will be using for the pleated V neck and the Ankara that I will be using. I have four and a half yards of this Ankara and I have pieces of it because I've already used out of this glass mercury. So I have the pieces here so it will be enough for the neck. The full length of the gown I'm about to cut is 56 inches. I will be adding two and a half inch to it half inch for the joining at the shoulder and two inches for the folding at the down aspect if you use the length this way it won't be enough for the length so i'll come here so from here this way you can see i will be taking my measurement i will measure 58 and a half twice so we are cutting the front and the back aspects. So start my measurement from here. So this fifty eight and a half. Measure another fifty eight and a half. This is it. I'm adding one inch to my length because I will still have to remove one inch from the upper part when cutting. One inch that means two inches. You had two inches to it. So this is it. I fold the front and back together. This is it. I will be cutting the front and back together first. The shoulder I'm using is 15 and a half. I will divide my shoulder by two. So you come here, you divide your shoulder by two. So this is 15 and a half. This is it. For the sleeve length from the shoulder to the sleeve, where the person wants a sleeve to stop. So the measurement I took is 13 inches. I will be adding one inch to that 13 inches. The reason for the one inch is because of the folding at the edges of the sleeve. So 13 plus one, that will give us 14 inches. So this is it. Here we stop for our shoulder. So I'll measure 14 inches. So this is 14 inches, so you can see. I'll come here, I'll come down by one inch. Here, yeah, I'll come to this point here, I'll come down by one inch. So this is my one inch. So I will slant it. I will slant it to this point. So now from here, I will slant it from here to this point. You can see from here. That's our shoulder slip. So you can see it. This is it. So after then, I will measure half inch. The half inch that I'm going to use for the joining. So this is the half inch. So you measure your half inch for the joining.
Shall see, this is it. Okay, after this half inch from here, I'll measure 10 inches downward. I'll be using 10 inches. The 10 inches that I took depends on the round sleeve of the person. You know, it's a free sleeve. So I'm using 10 inches for the for this particular person because our round sleeve is 16 inches. So I had two inches to it. This is 16. You can see this 16 inches. So I have two inches to it. So making 10 inches. So that's 20, 20 inches. So it depends on the person round sleeve. So you divide the person round sleeve by two and you have two inches to it for you to get this length from the shoulder to the down aspect of the hand hole. Okay. So we'll be making use of our bust measurement here. The bust I'm using is 44. This 44. Free boo boo. So from here, I'll add four inches to it at this side here. You come here after the bust measurement that you took. This is the bust measurement. So I had I had four inches to it. So this is the four inches. So just curve it this way. You can see the way I curve it. So this is the four from here. This is the bust circumference. You had four inches to it, and you curve it. You can see the way I curve it. So you curve it. You won't curve it to meet this point. So you curve it before the point. So for you to have that shape. So this is it. For us to get our hip measurements, I'll come here. I'll be making use of 25 and a half for the length of the hip. This is the length of the hip. So, and the hip I'm using is 46. I'll measure 46A. This is 46. We divide your hip by 4. So, I have 46A. This is 46. So, I'll come here. And I'll add that same 4 inches that I had to it at the bust. I'll add it to it also here. So, this is it. No need of the waist because it's a free boob. So I will just shape it to meet the hip. You can see. So you shape it to meet the hip. So it's a free boob. So to the hip line here. Yeah. Whatever you have here, I have 16 inches here. So I'll go to the down aspect. So I'll come here. I'll measure that same 16 inches. So this is it. So you straighten it. Let me make use of my... So you can see this is it. Next aspect here. I will be making use of three and a half for the width of the neck. So this is the width. So I'll make use of three and a half for the neck. So let me let me cut it out for so that I will separate the front from the back aspect.
take your full measurements so i'm making use of 58 here you i measure it after the half inch at the upper part here i make use of 58 inches for the length I'll be making use of three and a half for the weed. And I'll be making use of seven inches for the depth. So I'll so from here you give it V neck shape to this point. You can make use of your hand, you can also make use of your French curve. So let me make use of my French curve. So you can see it. This is it. So this is our V neck. So after then, I will now come here from this point. I will measure three and a half inch, another three and a half inch. You can decide to make use of four inches. It depends on the shoulder of the person. But make sure when you are taking your measurements. It must not pass that shoulder point. So when you are taking your measurement, don't allow it to pass that shoulder because it will fall at the shoulder aspect. So I will be making use of three and a half here from here to here. I will measure it. I will be making use of three and a half. So this is my three and a half. You can see this is the three and a half. So from there, I will measure three and a half meets also so and just bring it down this way so you can see it so I bring it down this way you can see the V neck shape so let me take the measurements from here so we are making use of 12 and a half you can see this is where we stop so we are making use of 12 and a half for the neck as in for the neck the length of the neck you can see so this is but for the main depth we are making use of seven inches this is the main depth of the neck you can see it so this is it so now I will be cutting it out. So now, using this on the glass mercury that I will be using for the neck aspect aspect i'll be cutting out the neck of the back aspect also you come to the neck aspect here i'll be making use of same three inch so this is it you know we are adding half inch to it at the upper part here so this is the half inch that we had to it at the upper part for the joining of the shoulder together so after the half inch i'll come down by one inch this one inch so from there i'll just give it a shape this way you can see there's it so. aspects make free i'm using so i will this is it i'll cut it into two you fold it this way 
when I fold it, I have the length I have here is 18 and a half. I have 18 and a half here, and into two now I'll cut it this way. This is so this one you come here so we'll be cutting these edges we'll be cutting it out I'll measure five inches downward so this is five inches After measuring my five inches, I will fold it in this way. You can see, fold it in this way. So after the inches, I will measure three inches. So this three inches, measure three inches downward. You straighten it. Measure another three inches again. You continue the process until you get your desire. one you fold this in this way so you bring this this way so you bring the second one this way you bring the third one you can see the way I'm placing it on each other so that's how you place it but first I will be adding paper stick at the back of this five inch this first five inch that i took i will need to add paper stay at the back here so after then i'll start my pleats so let me show you that See the lines so you fold this five inch i'll be folding it in this way so i'll use my iron to, pr to press it down you can see so 
so that's the first so you can see it so from there the second pleat so you use your iron to hold it down Third pleats and see so you pick it, you pick the third pleat also. This is it. So the fourth pleat, you pick it also. So this is the fifth bit. This is the back aspect and this is the front aspect. So now on the inner part of it, you open it this way and you place your sewing here like this. So this one will cover the sewing. So you pick the second one, you place the sewing and the inner part also. You cover it up, you pick the third one. You continue the process till the last one so i'll be doing that on my machine come up this and i'll place my sewing downward just make sure your hand is straight So you cover it up, you open the second one. So you're sewing on it. So you can see, this is the last one. So now, you place your sewing on the outer part here. So I'll be placing my sewing this way. side so this is it you can see it
So you can see. So this is the two side. So now I will be placing it on each other. So you can see this is the place that we fold him. The five inch that we fold him. So you can see it so. So we are going to place it this way. So and this is our booboo. So we use it to measure the neck for us to get our exact measurements. So I think place it this way, you can see it. So you use your office key to hold it at the side. Can see. So we'll be placing it on the neck. So, I'll, and this side also, you can see. So after then, I will be joining it to the body. Our front. So I will be cutting out the pocket. So I'll place it this way. So I have five inches here. nine inches so this is nine so, okay. pocket i have the two pockets here this is it. I will need to join this side here so I will place sewing on this side and I will place sewing on this side also so let me do that The SS here. So this is our center point. You know it. So. I'll place it this you can see I've notched it at the center here and this is the body and this is the right aspect and this is the wrong aspect of the main body so you place it this way I'll be starting my swing from the center point so I'll place it this way you can see it so this is it so this is the center where I notch so I place it together this way. You can see it. So you can see. To we'll start my swing.
Anna, out of stitch it at the side here. We'll make sure you are using a matching thread. So I will top stitch on the Ankara. So we run. it you can see it so this is it in the neck with the facing so let me do that Using the glass mercury for the edges of the pockets too. So glass mercury facing each other. So this is it. I'll turn it to the front aspect. So let me do that. To pocket I've high on it I will turn it in okay I'll not place sewing on it so you can see this is it same thing applies to the second pocket For us to get where we are going to fix our pockets, this is the pocket. For us to get where we are going to fix our pocket, we will measure 19 and a half from the shoulder here. So I will measure 19 and a half from here, from the shoulder downward. So this is where my 19 and a half stop. You can see, this is it. So same thing applies to the other side. <coughs> so I'll place my pocket this way. Use paint to hold it down. It you can see you fold it this way at the side and place your swing on it. Same thing applies to the second side. That's it. So now I will be joining the shoulder together. This is the front aspect. And this is the back aspect. 
I will pick it at the shoulder here and I will join it together. So let me do that. Yeah. So this is the neck you can see. So you make sure everything is lay. You can see it. Make sure everything is lay. So lay it very well when you want to join the shoulder together. Make sure you lay it very well when you want to join the shoulder together. So this is the front aspect. It. you can see this is the back aspect so now i will trim off the excess at the shoulder here and the excess at the other shoulder here also so let me do that of the sleeve so i'll fold the edges of the sleeve in and then i will be joining it at the side Inch. the down aspects after then I will be showing you the final look this is the final look of our boo boo if you find this video helpful kindly give it a thumbs up if you have any question or suggestion you can drop it in the comment section below kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure it turns on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Thanks for watching. Bye.